back here now on the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast to wrap up the week with this last segment. I sort of talked about a little bit on the Jaguars new stadium that coming to um, the NFL in 2027, if my memory serves me right. So now we'll transition a little bit now now to the Jacks to the Tennessee Titans, excuse me, I should say, and their plans for a new stadium. Theirs was actually announced last off season in. August of 2023, and the Titans um, announced their new 2.1 billion stadium to be ready by February of 2027. That news of the specific month came out more recently, but um, the new stadium will have a dome on it. You know, um, they'll have also less capacity held at the stadium, but um, better sight lines to the actual field and the game as part of the new modernized very high-tech look to the stadium um if you haven't seen it already i'm sure you can find it it's been um out there already for a while now so it looks pretty cool but that'll come in a few years it isn't a renovation so the tennessee Titans will continue to play at their stadium through 2026 and once 2027 comes hopefully it all comes according to plan and they're able to play in that new stadium as part of the new deal and the funding from the city of nashville and tennessee as well um they agreed to a 30-year lease as well to ensure the tennessee titans stayed um in tennessee for the next 30 years so that also comes with it trying to ward off any plans of them maybe relocating to anywhere i think it's good for the state of tennessee and also for the city of nashville to keep them there there is a lot of attraction just with the city itself you have a lot of um people going there regardless and now to have a new stadium being built there a uh 1.26 billion dollars in public funding the largest public funding subsidy ever for an american stadium just exceeding the bill's 850 million approval um for their new stadium as well but that sort of brings up now the bigger topic about a potential super bowl now coming to nashville if the NFL continues with their trend of sort of rewarding a new stadium. If it looks great and there's a lot of positive feedback early on, they usually give one of these new stadiums a Super Bowl, the opportunity and privilege to hold such a massive game. And if the NFL, or not the NFL, the Tennessee Titans stadium looks great and has a lot of positive feedback, like I said, I don't see them going away from that. And it all sort of lines up perfectly in a sense because the next three Super Bowls are this year in New Orleans uh, technically in 2025 then in Santa Clara in 2026 and then in Los Angeles in 2027 obviously in February they're all booked on they're all booked until then oddly enough you know this new stadium will be finished by February of 2027 ready for the fall of 2027 so could the NFL re- reward them right away and give them the uh the privilege of hosting the super bowl there in 2028 roger goodell was asked about it at the nfl owners meeting this week on tuesday um he was asked about just the idea the possibility of bringing the super bowl to nashville and he said i think the stadium is going to be amazing we know the passion of the fans here we experienced the draft here um and i think a super bowl here would be very successful you also had Tennessee's governor Bill Lee also recently advocate again for the Super Bowl to be in Nashville he actually said he advocated for it six years ago when uh, he took office so this has been an idea floated around there for some time now and it is difficult because of Nashville the city is great and then bringing the Super Bowl to the current stadium that the Tennessee Titans have right now that might be looked uh, at with a weird look you know why is the Super Bowl being played in Nashville it usually is in a bigger market and stuff like that so with the new stadium coming there and if it all turns out great I think this is a great opportunity to bring more people to the city of Nashville and sort of get to know it a little bit better enjoy the Super Bowl and have um, more people just in that market for Tennessee and Nashville as well it'll do great also for the um, Tennessee Titans as a whole if you get more people in there have more positive reviews on the stadium hopefully um it'll only do great things for the tennessee titans as well and also 
with recent news of the construction um, recently going or getting underway, it already has begun, begun on the new stadium. It is just a few miles away from where the Tennessee Titans play currently, but um, it should be still in close proximity to um, where the stadium is now, so there won't be a lot of major changes in regards to traveling within the city and stuff like that, and no major real changes occurring to other major parts of the city as well because it is a new stadium again i'll re-emphasize that and trying to change such a huge project from one area to another one could come with certainly a lot of problems but it seems like the two have gone over that um recently and with saying that the jags also um i'll bring the jaguars back into this conversation a little bit just because their new stadium is said to be done around 2027 as well and how the determination is done between the Jaguars possibly getting it you know down there in Florida another attractable market um, to the NFL they've had a lot of events at Hard Rock Stadium down there in Miami you know I would think that Jacksonville is also just as an attractive um, venue for a Super Bowl and just for people to come anyway because the weather's always great how did the the NFL makes that determination between Nashville and Jacksonville, I think will be a pretty fun um, battle, I guess I would say, uh, between the two of them to host the Super Bowl in 2028. But regardless of who goes first, I think it's only um, a matter of it, when one of these teams and their new stadiums gets to host a Super Bowl. Pretty exciting, um, again, for Tennessee that now ushers in a new era with Brian Callahan, some more exciting players, and now a new stadium. Um, if Will Levis, again, like we talked about before, pans out to be this great quarterback, also another attraction to come to Nashville and in Tennessee, I think it'll be a great situation right now brewing for the Tennessee Titans if, again, I emphasize if, it all goes according to plan for them in a division that um, I started this whole episode talking about there being a ton of young talent, and with that young talent comes uncertainty at times you know you want to preserve that and make sure that that develops into a great quarterback one day but you know you don't really know and hopefully with this and the Tennessee Titans hopefully that goes according to plan for them and it all works out well in the end for them to have a lot of fans at this new stadium have just all everything working for them um, by 2027 and 2028. We're certainly going to have to wait a while for this to happen, but it gives Will Levis and this Tennessee Titans team to develop and grow into a pretty competitive team there in that division where the Texans seem to be the favorite right now, but Tennessee is slowly building something there. Don't count them out just yet. I like what they've done so far. Now it just becomes about execution from them and their new head coach there in Brian Callahan, but in saying that, that'll pretty much do it for this episode. I want to thank you guys for tuning in again to this rendition of the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe to the show and also follow us on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for more of the network's content outside of sports as well. If you want to see more of me and this show, make sure to check out the GSMC Sports Network channel and the GSMC Podcast Network channel for every live recorded show that is on both channels, YouTube shorts that are posted on there as well every weekday, and also individual segment videos. If you don't have time to watch a whole episode, you can tune in to a specific segment and watch that at your leisure. As a reminder... Tune in every weekday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time for more discussions, conversations around the NFL and just football in general with me, Manny Maradiege, as your host. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys all have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I'll see you guys back here on Memorial Day on Monday. Yo. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. God. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great? Nice. I don't wanna go.